It is that time of year for graduations, weddings, and a lot of other special events. So if you are looking for the best way to preserve those memories, Jamie Lavin from Jamie Lavin Art and Frame is here with some framing tips to keep your keepsakes looking good for years to come. And we're not talking about just for months or a couple years. We're talking about to last, like to maybe even hand down to, you know, the next generation. That's what the uh, uh, framing is for yeah. anymore. And, and in this piece on the left, this is a wedding invitation we've done. I went ahead and used uh, a eight ply cotton rag. Cotton rag is the same material that Da Vinci drew on. Wow! It preserves literally forever, except for fire or flood. No kidding. So, so explain that. So, so you put so the, the backing invitation. Board, okay, mm -hmm. the, backing the backing board, board's floating on a piece of of cotton. This right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that front piece right here okay. is eight ply, which is like, like double this. the thick of a no normal mat. Wow! And then there are spacers in there to keep it separate. From the glass. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. So, is there any oxidizing that will occur here? Not at all. Um, it can, but not in this particular situation. Okay. Um, oxidizing typically happens to organic materials. What what we worry about with cotton is molds and things like that that happen from floods. Sure. Standard uh, air conditioning and lifestyle that we have in the Midwest pretty yeah. much takes care of that. It's also important to, okay, so you may have the best of the best material when you're framing something like this. That means a lot to the family, but it's also important to note too where you place this stuff in the home. Talk about that. I mean, you obviously don't want it in an area that's getting a ton of sun and it's just beating on it, correct? Well, we've, they've kind of fixed that too. Good, good. What they've done is they have given us a uh, UV protected glass. Okay. And then there's also something called museum glass, and there's also something called art glass. So it would be still okay then to go we in are. and put it. And, okay. And what I've done is I've lowered the price of my of my. Uh, Conservation glass, uh -huh. so that it competes regularly with in price with regular with glass. Regular just glass. Like so you might as well store. just do the might UV. as well do it. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about this particular uh, thing that is framed. Is this uh, some kind of artwork? Yeah, this is a child's uh, piece from okay. school. And That's nice. Yeah. What we've used are alpha cellulose mats, a little bit different than cotton because they're produced from wood pulp, but they pull the lingon and the groundwood out of the of the batch mix when they make the papers. Yeah. So that and then they use what they call an alkaline reserve, which gives us a more uh, preservative type of board. Okay. It's, it's just as expensive as yeah. cotton okay. in, in some regards. But this is a triple mat, and okay. what I've done is I've used a pocket yeah. Let me show you between here. I've used this little, I don't know if you can see it, but this little acrylic yeah, pocket. that holds There's it. There's four of those holding it, so we yeah. don't use tape anymore. That's perfect. Yeah, that, so that really keeps it stable. This is, this is non-acidic also. And let's so. talk about this because we don't have a lot of time. Okay. Many people have some wedding pictures. You bet. This and, is one of mine. Yeah. And what I've done is. And that is, was from what year? Uh, we've you been remember? married 29 years. 29 years. Yeah. Congratulations. 84. Yeah. So this photo will be done with, in fact, it's in my yeah. uh, work to do. Uh, this will be done with a, a white rag mat. It'll, we'll use the same kind of pockets. All right. I can dry mount something like this Perfect. as well. Perfect. We've got a cotton rag dry mount now. And this is all going to preserve your most it precious will. items. All right. Thank you so much. And by the way, you need to get on this. This is 29 years later. You still haven't framed it. Is your wife <laughs> pleased about this? Well, you know, the cobbler's kids get the shoes last. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? All right. I'm sure it's on your honeydew list. It is. It was great meeting you. Thank you. And thanks, thanks for the for knowledge. Me. We'll set things over to Jeff.